Hi everyone, this is Paul with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. I thought today that we would take a look at overlaying video in ProPresenter 5. This is something that's really cool that I discovered kind of by accident and it saved me tons of time and it's a pretty neat effect. So let's take a look. So let's say that you've got this abstract moving background. I'm actually going to drag that over here on here and I'm going to add another slide assuming that this is amazing grace that we're doing because I'm doing too many things with my computer at once now you see down here I've got this video in the lower right hand corner called go tell it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that there. Now, when I press go tell it, you'll see that it just goes to a black background, even though this has a white background. And the reason it has a white background is a very, very good reason. This is a 444 movie, so it has transparency built into it. And as you can see here, the way this is built, uh, as it fades in and out, it has a little yellow cast. So if I did like a, a Luma key, uh, then I would have a problem. What I would really love to do is somehow put this background underneath this foreground and I used to do that in Final Cut Pro I'd spend some time and then I'd render it all out and it would take a while let me show you how to do that faster so assuming that you're starting with this video which is full screen uh, ProRes 444 it's got the alpha channel included all that fun jazz this was just exported as it natively would be out of motion. This is how you do it here. Let me pause that and let's go in and let's add another one right here instead. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. So let's go to edit slide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a movie file right here over top of that. So that's actually located on my external drive, Aslan's Country, Go Tell It Combo Version, etc., etc. So let's do that. Okay, so I have it here. You see the white background. Remember, in this case, since it has all the layers and everything, uh, white is not actually seen. I'm going to go ahead and delete a couple more of these other layers because I don't need them in this case. Sorry about that. There we go. So what I've got here is I've got my lovely background file. Then I have this foreground video. And I'm going to delete this one that I showed you was done the wrong way and add another one in just, just to have that there. So now I can get out of this and I can start up again with this lovely purple background. My machine is running a little slow here for some very good reasons. I'm recording and playing and doing a couple other things. So now I'm going to click on this and this 
you might hear in the background the click track. This is actually a click track for the song Go Tell It on the Mountain. This is from our uh, Christmas service. Now it looks a little jumpy here and that's because I'm playing it off of a Firewire hard drive. I am recording this at the same time with the screen capture program. I'm doing a couple of things that aren't helpful but you'll see how I didn't have to do any editing or anything and I could have in fact just left this background going for however long I wanted to so that could just go forever and ever and ever and then all of a sudden I could add in the other background here so and to clear that I use the slides because from ProPresenter's perspective that's just text over video. Eh, not exactly but you get what I'm saying. So this is a very helpful thing. This could be great for an animated lower third. Uh, it could be a great thing for background words for a performed song. That's what this is. There are a few different things it can be and you don't have to do any editing. Uh, one thing that we've used sometimes is if there are words on the screen uh, like during a scripture reading, maybe the verse citation, we want might want them to come in in uh, a more organic way than you'd normally see in ProPresenter. So I could have individual videos where the scripture flies in and then just stays there for a long time. So that's uh, something else I can do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, um, head over to my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com. Uh, and you can also pick up my books. I'm an author, and I've written three books, Podcasting Church, Tweeting Church, and The Serving Church. And those are all over on Amazon. You can go to my author page http colon slash slash a m z n dot t o slash paul clifford and pick those up till next time go out and change eternity